Hello there! I am online again. Ooh, today has been basically summer in uh, Sweden, which has been a bit hot in my apartment. Uh, basically I had to cover my window with papers because it was, you know, burning right in my eyes. So I have a temporary solution for curtains uh, while <laughs> I'm ordering some proper curtains uh, to not get the sun in my eyes. But it's been really nice weather today, 20 degrees. Uh, unfortunately it's not gonna continue being so for the rest of the week, but it will come back during the weekend again, so see if I can go outside a little bit for a walk or something. Hello there, Bronze! How are you doing? I was almost worried a bit that I wasn't uh, online because my um, streaming client told me I was online and I tried to start the stream a couple of times but nothing really happened so I'm like okay it says in my client that I'm offline still so it's good to know that I'm actually online. How are you doing? <laughs> you need to ask, is that a smoke machine in the background or is it something on fire? Uh, hello Dragonfly, Mr. Kramer and Billabong, and Billabong is right, it's actually, uh, yeah, it's my new smoke machine, no, it's a humidifier, um, I got it during the weekend, or well, it arrived during the weekend, so, I have some nice effects uh, going on in the background, or maybe we can, uh, pretend that when I'm thinking too much my brain is, uh, on fire. Well, someone told me that uh, humidifiers are really good for uh, skin and, um, well, in particular, dry skin, and I'm super dry. Uh, and also for, like, uh, if you have a very dry throat or, yeah, something like that. And I'm drinking, like, tons of water every day, and I figured maybe it's dry air. Didn't really have this issue when I was actually working in the office, so. I got one and uh, let's see if it improves uh, quality of life, or so to say. Um, no idea if it will work, but that's what's puffing behind me. Hello Spag! Morning or evening? For me it's evening. It's, uh, yeah, well, almost 10 past 8 here. Not really noticeable with the light, but I think the sun is going down like 9.30 p.m. today, or if it's even later in Stockholm. So, today I'm gonna continue this uh, doctor's bag, or doctor's saddle bag. And it's basically a lot of like fiddling and details, since I did most of the modeling in uh, Maya. Um, we are going to adjust some of the details, like some silhouette shapes today, at least, and then start experimenting with some leather alpha. Um, so, to show you what you mean, like bulging some of the sides like this, like moving them, um, see if I can get some detailing going on here and there. We're not going to do all of the details in ZBrush, but a few one would be nice uh, to have sculpted or something there like bigger parts like chipping or you can see uh, some of the I guess parts where the leather has been a bit mistreated maybe perhaps uh, I'm gonna add those in the uh, ZBrush and then we can overlay some micro details in painter uh, like just random noise uh, leather noise still unsure if I'm gonna sculpt the pattern I think I will, because it's just fun. Otherwise it's probably more handy to do it in Painter, because it's easier to stamp that out. And, um, but you know, I like, I like sculpting, so we'll see how far we get today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the plan for today. Changing some silhouettes. 
Hello there, Scat. Philophon, <laughs> ready for another raid? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm really, really good with uh, low numbers. <laughs> with some atmospherics. It's like watching a low budget movie. <laughs> Is it the humidifier in the background? Yeah, I, um, it adds effects uh, to, the, to the stream. <laughs> Tell me more about the smoke machine. Is this going to be the uh, topic of today? Uh, does it really look like a smoke machine? When it, it's the humidifier. Is it that strong? It's on the lowest setting. No, I'm going for the intimidating look on my stream when I'm like sitting here sculpting. It needs to look cool and intense. If I'm running a smoke simulation in the background, yeah, my computer couldn't compute, so I had to move it out in the real life and added it behind me instead of just computing her. Hello Kate. I have a cat for a visitor as well. It's not like I'm getting any work done. Like immediately when I start, you hear again. It's like you hearing the call of like, oh there's a stream going on. I need to interrupt this. Hello Kate. You need to interrupt this, right? Say hello. Say hello. So now we have smoke machine and cat. Well, you can't be on my tablet today, unfortunately. And you're not really a lap cat. He doesn't want to sit on the lap. Is the distraction box not working? No, it's not. <laughs> Bronze, I should carry the humidifier around work once everyone is back in the office. Then everyone will do what you want. <laughs> oh, lens flare. I have some cat hair, will that do? No lens flares, but cat hair. And my cat is stealing my water as well. Colored light for even more intense mood. Ask cat. The best way to get the a cat's attention is to ignore it. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it's like time to cuddle, and you go there like, oh, pet, 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 and he's like, no, leave me alone, and you're like, okay, okay, oh, you're gonna be like that. You're walking away, and then all of a sudden he's like, yeah, now it's time, pet me, like, mm, no. <laughs> So yeah, definitely. Ignore it and it will come for attention. A cat flare. Do you have a box there, Kay? No? Alright, alright. Well he walked away after stealing my water. So now I can't now I can't drink it. But that's uh, that's just lovely, Kay. Thank you. So we actually fixed this one last time, right? It looks like it. But I didn't do anything with this one, no I didn't. Uh, 
Anorexia friends cat would never do that. Ignore. Like, ignore it, I mean. It always wants cuddles. <laughs> That's a nice cat. Always wanting attention. You can't just show up and won't leave you alone. Oh. oh, I mean to be fair, if if my cat would actually sit still in my lap now when I'm streaming, I wouldn't mind. It's just that he's not a lap cat. He's like, he wants you to carry him, but if you stand still, like when you carry him, he's like, nah. But if you walk around, then he likes it. So if you wanna stick like to cuddle, cuddle with the cat, you're gonna have to walk around like a taxi service, basically. Otherwise, he finds it very disinteresting to um, sit still in the lap. And like, <sighs> he's very particular. It's quite funny though, uh, but also it would have been nice. To have a normal cat, you hear that, Kay? Normal, I say. Why can't you be normal? I have never seen him drink from his own water bottle. It's always from my water glass. Always. Like, I don't know if it drinks water even when I'm gone. I don't know why. I even tried to put like a bucket and like a giant vase, like, but not at his like food place, but in other places in the apartment. Look, he don't want to drink from them. He still wants to drink from my glass. I don't know why. A photo trip, Bronze. Time to start transferring 8 gigs of picture from today's photo trip. Where have you been, uh, photo like shooting? It's true, though, Abarax. My cat is very, very, very different from what I expected a cat to be when I first got him. I, he don't eat fish or if I give him ham or I try chicken and everything like that. No, he wants his dry, dry, really boring Food. They smell like dried pellets. Sometimes you eat like a very special branded like fresh food that is like pate. It's so mushy, like there's no there's nothing to chew on in, in it. Like it's basically cream. But it's only if it's tuna or salmon. But he doesn't want to have salmon that is either cooked or raw or like uh, tuna either, so I don't know what's what's wrong with him. I don't know. Everything's wrong with him. Oh he likes biscuits though. If I feed him if I feed him biscuits that I'm eating, then he wants some. And he also likes spinach. 
for some reason, cooked spinach. Um, and he loves to eat oat porridge. <laughs> it's like, why? What's wrong with you? I don't think I have a cat, guys. I think it's something else. I think I got tricked. Cats only could eat meat? No, they can eat plenty of other things. Uh, they should not have certain things though, like avocado. Um, they actually shouldn't have uh, milk either, like cow or goat or stuff like that. Apparently they are like lactose intolerant. Um, and they shouldn't have garlic and stuff, but you know, they can eat other things. It's just that you would expect them to eat meat, right? That's what I expect a cat to do, not munch on, like, spinach. Lactose intolerance. <laughs> well, I guess that's a wordplay. on a few of them. Hello, Dogfish. If you want to try to model for a game or something with a game, do you have something to look into? Um, well, for sure, I mean, game jumps are fun, though game jumps are also very rushed. So, there is like not really any type of optimization that is made, or it's only like optimized, like you're only going for cubes. So, I guess it depends. Uh, really what you're after, like, I think uh, game jams are pretty fun, like, I remember doing a few when I was a uh, uh, student back in the years in uni, um, but I also do remember that, you know, most of all it's like fun and the game got, you know, really broken, uh, and when it comes to game modeling, like, nobody really cared, you could basically just take a model 
straight from ZBrush almost, or like just a cube or whatever, just to make something work. Because you usually have like, what is it, either 24 or 48 hours, all in all, to make a game. But it's for sure like really, really fun. So I would recommend it uh, for anyone to try at least, just because it's fun. Hello, Aslan! Humidifier! Fancy! Yes, it's a fancy veto. It looks like it's smoke coming out from my head, right? I should, like, turn it on when I'm getting frustrated or angry. But I would probably forget that. Um, it's just better to have it on all the time, right? Oh, Doki Fish. Mm. I like 3D modeling and somehow I wish I get into the industry, but, but it's hard to use the switch, especially when I'm not a great modeler yet. Right, well, modding maybe would be a better option. There's a few ones here, I'm not sure if they are online yet, like, but there's a few ones that do uh, modding instead, uh, like usually look for bigger communities that like are all modding for a certain like game. Aslan here is a uh, part of like a Skyrim mod, for example, and then they have like designers and they have coders and they have some artists as well. And yeah, for sure, Skyrim Skyrim is an old game, but you will then learn how to actually do game models that require even more uh, optimization in order for the mod to run. So that might be an option to see if you can do some. Uh, modelings for a mod instead. Um, I also know that if you want to break it into the industry, at least for designer, um, it was more so back in the days for artists as well, but it's a good way of having something in your portfolio that is not just a personal project. So if you have done some modding, it shows that you are able to learn tools from like other specific like technical things like for Skyrim it's their own engine and so on and then also if it's like a bigger community for a mod then you also showcase that you can work in a, work in a team so um, yeah modding yeah, I've heard at least gives people the opportunity to try out and then also uh, to get some portfolio pieces that are not personal projects Starting to read only. Well, you know, in the Discord server, like our the Discord server, you can uh, ask Ron or Aslan or even Raz about how it is to do modding. Ron is doing uh, like art, this Aslan here is doing design, and Raz is doing some code, so then you get some different opinions on it. Yeah, they have a separate Discord as well for the Skyrim modding, so... Christian, holidays are over, you want more? Oh, you had some holidays! That's great! Did you do anything in particular? Also, yeah, I know the feeling. <laughs> I always want to have some bit more vacation. I don't mind. like over before you even know it. It takes like a week to get relaxed and you know starting the vacation or like vacation mode so Oh, right. Is that the in? That's the inside. Okay. 
this folder. So I'm gonna move everything slightly. Okay, well, that's not good. I had an inside here as well. Do I even need that inside? Did I have a plan? <laughs> Whether I did the inside or another one? Maybe I did. Maybe my plan was to make one side and copy it over. I wonder, does this sound familiar? I don't know, does it? I can't really remember. Ah, oh, I have so bad memory. It's uh, ridiculous sometimes. This is why I always have like a Trello board for personal things as well. Keep track of what the heck I'm doing or thinking. Um, since I added like stuff here, I assume that I had right. I yeah. I was gonna be smart and just do one side and copy it over, and be done with it. Right. Okay. Well, that's smart, past kin. But what if you want to make it unique now? Then I guess I should. Right. And I will delete this merge and I will just not move that one even if it's an eyesore in my eye. Um because it doesn't matter, I will align it better in the game mode then. Okay, well then. I already did this one here. No, so it's basically yeah, this one is the same except for like this part here is actually different. I think actually it's this one that I've been slightly moved. Hello there, Yankee. Okay. here again for attention. I put the box there for you. Can't you use it? You know, you're making me sad, okay? You're making me sad. Here I made a nice box for you. With, with a blanket in it even, to make it more cuddly and nice. And you don't want to have the box. But you love boxes. Cats love box. More than if, if I buy you a proper bed, you're not gonna use it, you're gonna use the box. So here you go. I'm, I'm nice, I made a box. <laughs> Pass them, draw a big smile on the box and he will like it more. <laughs> Christian, you had a chance of photo shooting last week? Caught a serious sunburn with it though. Man, there's a lot of people here photo shooting. Ron seems to be on one today as well. Hello, Grimtax! How are you doing?
Oh, Bronze wrote in the chat that he was uh, taking some photos today as well, and he had like 8 gigabytes of um, photos to take care of. Ah, Aslan, I didn't need a smiley on the box. He's actually in the box now. Cat is in the box. In the box, Kay. Distraction complete. Newspaper instead of blanket. Some cats like to hide in newspaper sheets. Oh, that's interesting. Now he, um... I've actually never tried the newspaper one. I've tried pillows, blankets, like soft stuff, but maybe... I'm just scared that he will think the newspaper is something that it's okay to pee on. <laughs> Not that I think he will, because he's never doing that in the hallway where the newspaper is usually in the morning, but... I don't know, when he was a kitten, like, I know that the um, guys, uh, or the family who had the kittens, they were using newspaper in the beginning before they actually used like cat litter, so that's why I'm a bit like, oh, will he remember? But he's nine years now, so maybe he doesn't really remember that. He's using the box at least, I'm happy with that. It's time to rough it up uh, the sides on it to get some silly changes. Uh, Rex, you're gonna take. You need. Oh, sorry. You're not gonna take. You need a photo shoot. Take selfie like a 50 year old man on Facebook. You literally can't present yourself. <laughs> I saw a YouTube video about like different age groups taking selfies and how different they were from each other that was pretty interesting like apparently kids take it like front front face like this and the older you get the more and more like the camera they move up almost like this and also more prominent for women to take the photos slightly above like this while men they kind of move it more down and took it a lot more underneath instead of. Um, and apparently the interesting part is like how you wanna represent yourself. Like if you take it slightly angled from below, it looks like you may be taller, like from the viewer's point, because you're actually looking up in the photo. And the same then if you're a woman and you take it slightly above, it looks shorter, like from someone who's taller's perspective and therefore it's like apparently cute. I thought it was a very interesting like the psychology behind how we take photos and most people don't reflect on that uh, but it's like just subconscious so... At least I found it interesting. Hello Denzino! How are you doing? I'm definitely gonna try with newspaper 
they're great for playing, so the cat can hide underneath and catch toys. I am gonna see if I can do something with that. I have a lot of newspapers just laying around in a like bag, collecting them to throw away, basically. Hello, Daniel! That was a cool fact. But most people don't even realize that they're doing that. Now I don't think uh, people actually do reflect that much. Like, I think you see how other people take pictures and then you mimic that. Let's see if this recreates. Oh, too many, too many triangles. Change the smooth to stronger smoothing brush. Thank you for the follow. Uh, the smoke thingy behind me, if that's emitting some sort of scent. No, uh, it's the humidifier, and I don't have any scent because I'm. Yeah. I don't think my cat would appreciate having some weird scent coming, coming from it, so um, it's not. Um, just, just like, I guess, um, air particles mixed with water.
I think some of these things are easier here. So Sort of like filling around with the brush. But you're fine, you slowly, on the end of molding your character. Where is the diorama? The diorama is uh, not on stream. Uh, I'm doing the final tweaks on it offline because it requires a lot of like nitpicky filming, detailing, and stuff. So it's um, actually almost done. It's just me trying to figure out what I want to do with the lighting and um, just in general like the last texture like colors and stuff so yeah it's on its way Christian, you should have called it light underneath uh, it. The uh, humidifier makes the stream background look more epic. Maybe orange like hellfire. <laughs> uh, I think I have a colored light somewhere. Might not be impossible to try something out for that. It won't really fit underneath, but I can put it next to it. seeing smoke I think you're just uh, imagine like imaginizing uh, things there's nothing smoking nothing at all this like humidifier has been the talk of the day it's like something is burning behind you it's good though if it actually would be something burning then I tr can trust you guys that um, you will tell me if something is actually burning but how hot is it in Sweden right now? Currently dying over there. Um, in uh, Sweden today it was 20 degrees. So actually one of the hotter days so far. But I'm just gonna guess here. <laughs> it's probably way warmer over at your place.
wait, yeah, 20 degrees like Celsius. That is quite, you know, that's summer in Sweden. I always forget, it's always like different. It's like Celsius here and Fahrenheit over at your place. <laughs> Perhaps explain how it's warm in Toronto compared to Atlanta. What well, the. Yeah, we had the same like reverse actually the other day. Uh, the hottest temperature, I think, like three days ago, was up in Kiruna, like in northern Sweden, and it was the coldest in south, south, like Sweden. So I'm like, how is that even possible? <laughs> but apparently, it is possible uh, for some stupid reason. The only thing now is that this one actually have the details, so we're gonna have to project those details back to this one, the new one that has a little bit more shape. This one as well. And save a new ZBrush file. Just to make sure that we have the, have the stuff we need. Hammerx wins or draft or some some shit. You don't know you did some weather in uni. <laughs> I think uh, I think it has to do something with that. Yes, winds and stuff, winds and draft and um, stuff moving. In. Yes, very scientific. Christian, you have some friends from Sweden. Some in Gothenburg and others more up in Umeå. Oh, then you have some that are like Gothenburg is like, what is it, south, southwest of Stockholm? And Umeå is like north. Slightly to the east, I guess. 
Yeah, Numia is pretty far north, but it's not the f uh, furthest north. It's like there's some more, more even more northern <laughs> cities. Um, Seem like it started in any of these bolts. That's fine. We have some of them that are supposed to be added up here as well, so. happening in Berlin, but the corona situation has ruined it. I think uh, you're not alone in that um, spectre though, that it's been ruined, unfortunately. Good thing though, all in all, is that we have uh, the possibility to stay in touch through the power of internet. Like, that's why I'm trying to think about when it gets a bit harder to not see your friends or, um, like, loved ones and stuff like that. Because, uh, if it would happen, like, in the 70s, oh man, this would have been so horrible. That's why I'm trying to think of, like, I wouldn't be able to work from home either, nor chat with people online. It would be... 300 times worse, in my opinion at least, um, the social distancing. Uh, online board games, Daniel. Billabong, you're about, you're about done with the Covid situation, but you do like working from home. I hope that uh, in the end that we get to see some good things coming from the like working from home situation. I know a lot of my colleagues have wanted to work from home or at least have a few days where they do. Um, but it's like been strict no working from home policies in most of the companies I've been working at. So hopefully um, it will change the attitude for that and more people will be able to um, work from home and maybe get some more time with their families and, you know. was able to do artist in time and manner. That is uh, that is very true. I have some more spare time as well uh, because I don't have a commute. Um, so that's positive. 
Spin Spin, you have another strange question. Hello there. Do you know any studios that have an old 2014-2016 Maya license to sell? Um, I think most studios do like a upgrade only. Damn, that's a good question. Um, like the they renew the license, I think, for a newer version. I'm not sure how that works actually. I'm pretty sure that big studios don't really sell the licenses off or anything like that. But maybe smaller indies do. If they do sell them, I'm not even sure how that works. Maybe someone here knows um, how that works. Billabong <laughs> is like subscription. Yeah, a lot of people have subscription, but I think still uh, studios buy their licenses, but uh, I'm sure if uh, people do sell them. Question back to you, Tinspin. Is it like, have you heard of uh, studios selling their older licenses? Like, cheaper or so? Like, since you're asking, I'm assuming that you might have heard it from somewhere. Are you great, uh, Oko Yumori? <laughs> Everyone's great, question mark. I think, uh, I think that will vary depending on who you ask, but I, I can sense in the chat that people are doing quite okay. At least, what it seems like. People are free to uh, <laughs> object to that if they like, but yeah. Christian doesn't even have to be a whole week from home office, but it has many benefits for both sides along the extra spare time you're not spend not spending on commute anymore. I think like if people would um, like either have shorter days or uh, have um, working from home uh, instead. I mean the office as you said will probably benefit from that as well. People are more rested and can have a different focus and if they're happy with their spare time they're probably more happy with work. But also I think uh, if everyone would be working from home like one or two times a week you will save a lot on electrical bills as well so you know it might not be a bad bad idea to let people do that. I'd like to pay 10 US for substance, it's actually not that bad. It says when you're lucky to buy an old license, you don't have to pay for subscription. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh, unsure um, if if you can buy licenses off from studios. Um, I haven't really got the question before, nor have I asked either. So it's uh, definitely interesting. I do get why you wanna have an older license or buy one uh, cheaper, so you don't have to subscribe or buy a new one. Um, but as Mr. Grainer said, it's like usually floating licenses that you buy, or like a seat in studios. Billabang, you would be fine working for 10 hour days and then be off on Friday. I would be more fine if I could have 6 hour work days and still get the same pay. <laughs> doesn't have to be eight hours, you know? Um, research say that you're not effective anyway for that long time. Um, that like, especially uh, people who work a lot with their brains or sit and do a lot of things in front of a computer, the brain is like the most energy craving source we have in the body. So, um, I mean, you're spending a lot of time thinking and yeah, I don't know. Most people do feel more exhausted by sitting in an office than doing feel like more heavy work. Not that you not get tired from that, but in general, like 
there's nothing really scientific about the eight hours. But yeah, try telling that to our bosses, right? <laughs> Please pay me the same, but let me work less. I promise I will be more effective. Actually though, I would promise that I would be more effective because I know that I will be going home earlier, which means that I'll probably focus more to get the same type of job done, but in less hours, so. But yeah, if I ever have my own company, that's that's gonna be my rules. No eight eight hour workdays. Nope, nope. Uh, Daniel, I, I'm not sure if two hours effective work a day is accurate, but it's definitely not eight. However, like six hour a day is actually goals. By like six to eight hours, you're running off one brain cell and maybe three. <laughs> maybe three microgram of caffeine. I'll make my own company. Oh man. If I would, you know, imagine how little actual game work I will be doing. It will be mostly managing. Like, yeah, I wouldn't really be a game developer anymore if I actually start my own studio. And it would be really, I don't know, it would be odd to start a game studio and then hire someone to be the CEO, right? Because you wanna be a game developer still? I don't know how that would be work, like, you know, work, but... Uh, yeah, that's my dread. If I start something that I... <laughs> I would have to be a boss. Mm. No. And do more paperwork. Mm, no. Once we have an AI that's running uh, stuff like that for me, maybe. It does all the paperwork for me. I can hire the AI to be the CEO. Then we game. As long as I don't have to look at papers, then we could. Oh, Mr. Craig, we can do deep focus approximately four hours a day, and a lot of the tasks we do cons you, uh, you consider deep work. So getting down to six hours a day would be effective artist work too much, you believe. Oh, would affect the artist work too much, you believe. Mm. Depends on how much optimization we get in place for other things. Um, I mean, if we take the ever, ever big topic that everyone's talking about, Unreal, uh, with not having to do low poly, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have to do uh, that anymore, then I would save time and then I can do um, other type of work, like high polys, and uh, you know, why? there's probably a lot of other things like UVs and loading and blah blah, then even that mean that means you can make more assets, but that also means that you have more time. So I guess <laughs> you would be able to work six hours, but there's a lot of things that are very slow in the pipeline um, that you can get rid of. Abrax, you would be the dedicated janitor and HR person. <laughs> What, you're not gonna do any game like art or design or anything? You're volunteering to be the janitor and the HR person, Avrox. <laughs> alright, good to know. I will call you when it happens, alright? I, <laughs> Christian, wouldn't go for the AI. It will find ways to get rid of you to run the company more cost efficient. <laughs> that is true. I will appoint my cat to be the CEO then. What do you guys think? He will uh, probably run it really smoothly, right? 
there will be plenty of nap times if he decides, uh, and plenty of uh, cuddle time. Uh, so a lot of pauses during the day because he needs the attention and the pets. I doubt that he will be doing good paperwork though, so I'm still gonna have to hire an assistant for him to do the, the paperwork uh, for him, but other than that, it sounds like a, a plan, right? So we'll make a prop here and there. <laughs> My cat as a CEO will introduce a mandatory 16 hour nap per day. I like that. It sounds it sounds like a, like a good plan. Mandatory as well. It's like, but I don't want to sleep. No, you have to go to bed. The CEO said so. About the real video, how do you texture paint something at high poly? I think um, that's like something I also do thinking a lot about. Uh, that's gonna be pain, but a lot of the assets, uh, if they are photo scanned, you don't have to paint or do UVs or anything like that. So I assume that as long as you do photo scanning, then you're okay. Um, but I assume that you're gonna have to do some really good, like, high poly, like, sub-D modeling and maybe paint on the lower, yeah, I don't really know. Because I've been thinking about it as well, if I import stuff in Substance Painter, it's gonna crash. Like, it can't even bake a uh, ZBrush model, so how can it possibly paint on something like that? It's gonna have to be, like, I don't know, mod box. <laughs> Photo projection in one box. Maybe that works. Oh, flat! You sent a. You sent something on Discord. Feedback critique channel. Let's open the. Uh... Discord. looks like a princess. Real-time character. That's a cool dress you have going on there. Did you make it in um, Marvelous as a base or like ZBrush sculpting or any other program? I think it looks uh, amazing, the dress. I think you in general have done a good job actually. You have added some interesting uh, details in the skin as well. Maybe if uh, there is some, like, add some more for the eyes. Like, it feels like it's missing the like corner part. Well, it's not really missing, but it feels like it's not really integrated with the eye because it's usually like going a little bit across the eye glow. Like, you can see some redness or pink if you look yourself in the mirror like in the corner maybe that and a little bit on the side to tie it together with um, the rest of the eye because it feels like the the whiteness here is like sticking out a bit from the rest yeah i would say like look in your uh, look in your eye in the mirror and see if you can find some interesting details or like ground it a bit more together with the, the rest of the eye Marvelous designer. Is 
that's really, really cool. I just like started looking a little bit at Marvelous Designer myself, so... Uh, seems like you can do some really cool stuff with clothing in there. I'm looking at my own hand while I'm looking at yours on the picture. I think it's a uh, good, good job. Uh, I wonder though if it's maybe missing a bit of like roughness, like the skin. If I look at my own fingers, they are like a little bit glossy. Maybe something like that, but I'm not sure. It depends on the lighting as well, I guess. I think you, in general, have done a really good job, Flat. So uh, I'm interested in, in like uh, if you're going to do something texture-wise with the dress, like colors and stuff, or if it's going to be white. Because it's a gorgeous dress, so it might be nice to add some patterns or like colors somewhere, but you know, it depends on what type of look you're going for. Looking at the dress in the front as well might be something uh, like Christian here is writing. You have a nice flow going on here. I love this uh, on the back. It's actually like very uneven and adds like yeah, it's making the eye rest a bit. But these folds on the front feels a little bit unnatural compared to the back folds. So maybe have a similar treatment to the folding here as you have on the front. That's, that's about it when I'm looking at um, looking at the pics right now. I think the eyes are the one that I can for certain say it feels a little bit a little bit off and not grounded with the rest. Um, so look at how the eye corner, like what type of detail you have there, and also it feels like it's very white. Uh, it might benefit from having some kind of shade or like look if you can see some veins in your own eye. Um, and in general I guess the eyebrows they feel like she <laughs> if you would have eyebrows like that I guess that someone had like plucked them but even so they are very like, I, I miss a bit of, like, hairs here um, that are just, like, a little bit off from the rest because you can't be that perfect, I guess, um, to get a little bit unevenness in there more, get, getting a little bit more natural feel. Um, but that's about it, I guess, when I'm looking at it. So, yeah. Great job, Flat, and thanks for uh, sharing. It was very nice to see uh, what you've been doing. Like the the dress is really lovely.
Something with gold and blue colors. Hmm, that could be cool. Hello, Dundee. Yeah, I am um, Victorian dresses. Yeah, they're really cool. It's gonna be uh, fun to see what you do with the dress. I'm not sure if like floral pattern, like flowers and stuff like that, would be something in a Victorian dress, or if they were usually most like flat colors. But yeah, you can definitely do some uh, interesting color choices in there, or like have a few parts that maybe have some flowers or ornaments or something to. Um, get a contrast going on. Oh, I can see the Ghost of Christmas future. You wrote, you just need to partner with some writer and animators. Connection, commercial production com companies and short films in between. <laughs> because the uh, cat CEO would get some good press coverage. It reminds me of a story about in Japan that they had like a railway conductor that was a cat. Like the, the owner for that station is actually a cat. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I'm not sure, maybe you were the one who linked me that, Aslan. Or maybe you saw it online. But cats can um, apparently be... Um, station owners and conductors, so at least in Japan, so it will be a hit in Japan at least if I have my cat as the CEO. Follow. I can barely hear the music now. I wonder if it's just very low on this this one that is playing right now. Oh look, okay Christian, thanks for popping by. Uh, and Say hello to your friend, the crafting dude. I like how you're saying crafting dude, but it's like doing cosplay stuff, so... to make them a little bit uneven and crafty feel because they 
He's so flat in here, so I'm gonna be baked into the back anyway. to make it look like it's been hammered or well, a lot of pressure has been applied to it while we have added them in the leather. And then when we up the rest on the, um, the top, then we can do those holes a little bit more like fine detail. This is one of the more relaxing things to do. Just easy sculpting, like brush strokes about the like in clay but digitally.
Okay, last one here. Try to sneak in some here. Wait, how would that be? That would actually be here. And this might be cool actually to have these here because it gets like it's on the same place but it's different. Because here you will see it when you take a screenshot like this, but you will see a glimpse of it. Here as well. Could be cool, I guess. because I remember you saying something about Twitch being poo. <laughs> Twitch being poo. No, not, Twitch is not really being poo, but um, I'm trying to uh, swap to Patreon because on Patreon I can actually give you guys more than it with a Twitch sub. But if you do want to keep the Twitch sub and get some emotes, I mean, uh, I really appreciate that as well. And I mean, you guys are awesome for doing that. That's why I want to give some more stuff back, uh, so on Patreon I can then post like, uh, I guess high poly models, um, or parts of high poly models, or like do a ZBrush EMM brush and post it there, or yeah, I'm trying to figure out a lot of different stuff um, that I could add. At the moment it's the Twitch archive and like my ZBrush interface up there. But I'm working on setting together some ZBrush files. If I get more money on Patreon, I'm not really sure actually how that works, if I do or not. Like, Twitch have a set um, amount, right, that you can subscribe for, and on Patreon you can kind of decide the tiers yourself, if you like to have tiers. But I'm not sure about the percent uh, percentage. Um, maybe someone more enlightened than me about that can answer. Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure about the, how they divide it up. But um, I know that a lot of um, content creators prefer uh, Patreon because they can give back more to the people who support them through that than like giving the emote unlock, so yeah. Um, I guess it's up for you to decide, Avarax, if you want to continue supporting, um, if you want to choose Twitch or Patreon. I would uh, definitely recommend Patreon if you want to get some goodies. Avarax, <laughs> say no more, I will cancel this up. And the support Patreon when it ends. Okay, thumbs up on that. Thank you uh, for doing that, and I hope uh, I hope everyone who's on Patreon will enjoy some uh, some goody drops now and then. Because honestly, uh, I think if you do support people, you should get something more out of it, right? Blue fella, if my headphone is on fire, <laughs> the humidifier in the background is probably making it look like um, my headphone is on fire. 
It would be cool stunt though. Um, if uh, if I could have smoke coming out like actually or fire from my headphone, but it's not like dangerous in any way. That would be a cool uh, extra feature, right? No, but I have a humidifier in the back in the back behind me. It's like I guess evaporating water to smaller particles and making the air more moist and probably better to breathe than dry air and skin and dry skin and all of that stuff. Yeah, I got it recommended from a friend to get a humidifier. And uh, when they said like, oh, well, like they don't have to use that much skin cream and the hands are not like crackling dry and doesn't feel like they're breathing the Sahara Desert every time they sleep. I was like, okay, I'm sold, I'm gonna try one of these. So now I'm bringing it with me whenever I like change room. I just unplug it and then like grab it like this and put it next to me. Um, I got it this weekend, so I don't really know how to use it more than just plug it in. Um, so um, maybe I can just leave it in one room. I, I'm not sure, but I want to make most out of it and uh, get the, get the steam where I am. Uh, to Fenmeric, the tablet I'm using, uh, it's a Intus Vacuum three or four. It's an old uh, old uh, piece that I have had for. What is it now? 10 years? Or 9? Yeah. I have not um, had to change the, the tip of the pen once because it's like a very smooth surface, unlike the newer Intos 5, which is supposed to mimic paper. But the downside is that, um, well, a lot of the tips are just. Um, getting destroyed and then you have to order new ones, so uh, I like this one. It's like a smooth surface. Aslan, my perfect skin project. Yeah, I should start a blog about this. Me and my humidi uh, humidifier. Like when I'm sitting and having a romantic dinner with it, when I'm like taking a shower, when I'm going to bed, when I'm lacing the sofa. Like my humidifier is with me all the time. Like a chill walk on the beach, that's gonna be harder though, because then it can't provide any steam, but... Maybe there's like an electric outlet that you can bring with you that is like powered through a power bank or something. <laughs> there should be an anime about it. <laughs> I'm all for it. If you uh, start the script, uh, start writing the story, Aslan, then provide some storyboards. get a generator so I should put the a generator that's going on like diesel or petrol then behind me in like a little trolley and then walking with another trolley with my humidifier hand in hand with a cord or something and playing some awesome music I have to draw a face on it as well otherwise it will feel very unpersonal I guess You pay to see that. <laughs> I would pay to see that as well, so I'm with you. You just have to make all the arrangements, right? <laughs> Bring a solar panel on the beach. Uh, maybe. Yeah, if it's a sunny day. Maybe that could work. Yeah, I'm gonna have to have like a caravan, caravan with me now <laughs> to make all of the things work. Uh, Marks, you don't have any hiking areas there? close to you. I thought Canada had like lots and lots of mountains everywhere. So much mountains that it's uh, impossible to not be on a mountain all the time. That's at least what it felt like when I was in Vancouver. <laughs> like mountains everywhere and like hills everywhere. If 
I still have an old graphics card, my 770? Yes. You want to buy it? I can uh, give you a good price on my old graphics card. It's been a nice friend. ZBrush always work really good without uh, like a good graphic card. It's like you don't really need to have that more, much more. Like you ha need to have memory and um, a good pro uh, processor for it. So, uh, which is why I never really. It wasn't top of my list until Substance came around. Then I realized, oh, uh, wait a minute, this one is actually GPU based. Which is why I'm doing detailing with uh, texturing offline to not uh, kill my uh, dear computer too much. Like it can do the first pass fine, but then uh, it starts crashing and blue screening and stuff, so... anything Abrax because you live with your granny. Okay. The hiking trails near you are pretty populated too. Oh, that's a shame though. I guess people are spending more time being outdoor, like doing healthy stuff like that, so... But yeah, that's a shame that you can't go out and do some nice hiking. I have like a small park outside where I'm living, like a tiny, tiny park, um, tiny, tiny, it's like, you can walk through it, it's like one kilometer, uh, but it's a lot of kids playing here, um, and a lot of people walking and stuff like that, so it's basically the same, even if I want to go for a stroll outdoor, it's so much people that it's like, it's not even funny. It's like, oh, why are you all here? And it almost feels like they are... It's crowded in a way. You can't really avoid the people in the park. And it's like, hmm. So I don't really go for a walk in the park. I would like to, though, but there's too much people. So I think walking around the park it's like three kilometers or so, so it would be like a nice lunch walk, but oh. better walking next to the highway instead. Less people. You went to a bike ride to Lakeshore and there were like no kidding, like 100 people beside me. Yeah, it's something like that here as well. It's like you can't. And people try to squeeze in between, and that feels very uncomfortable. They want to walk past you, or you want to walk past someone and it's less than a meter in between. You're like, mm, no, no, this is less than ideal. Um, I think I will skip. I will be indoor here with my cat instead. He will be sad if I leave anyway. He's so used to me being here now all day long. So if I want if I need to go to the store, which I do like every second week to do like a large uh, shopping, buy everything I need for two weeks time, he's really pissed when I get back home, being like, why did you leave me? Why, human? I was so lonely for the hour you were away. Which he wouldn't really care about before, but now he's like constantly talking at you. Mm -hmm. like, being like attention craving. Yeah. 
Oh, a lot of fiddly, fiddly details. Um, I'm gonna finish off all the metal pieces first, I think. Um, and then we're gonna start tackling more and more the leather. Like I added a little bit, like a bulging going on here, but we need more. And lots and lots of more on different parts. And then we're gonna do a like finer pass with details. But that's going to be for the next time, because I am going to round up the stream now and actually do some work on the pot diorama, but <laughs> outside of stream, the thing that people asked about uh, here not so long ago. Because um, that unfortunately I can't uh, stream, but I will be hanging out in Discord while working on it, so if you are uh, well, online and want to have some company about the awesome community we have going on here. Um, join us in Discord uh, for some talking and uh, working, I guess. So um, I will be uh, be there doing some more work. Thanks everyone for uh, joining today and keeping me company and. Uh, just being uh, the best people, it makes it a lot more fun to sit here and doodle and have some conversation going on. So uh, I will see you soon again online on stream. And I have also actually passed a thousand followers. And in that sense, I hear a lot of people do a 1k streams, like special streams. So I am trying to cook something up for that, to have a special stream for the 1k follower, uh, so stay tuned for that as well in the coming like weeks, see if we can make something fun out of it. Anywho, I will see you in Discord, otherwise uh, I will see you on the next stream. Have a good one and stay safe everyone, catch you later, bye bye.